As a national lab, you get to really work on national problems. You have the opportunity to get exposed to so many different technologies and folks in different areas of expertise. You can go wherever your imagination will take you. Well, it varies from working at the site to quite a bit of travel domestically, especially sometimes out of the country. As you know, SRNL supports worldwide customers right now. Myself personally, I do a lot of work for the tritium facilities, but I do a lot of work for the Department of Energy headquarters staff in the area of grid modernization. I do direct support for NNSA out of headquarters. And then uh, we have a good bit of work uh, with the Department of Defense, so as a result, I'm kind of mixed between being here on site and traveling almost, right now it's about 50-50. The work that I'm doing to support the Department of Defense and other government agencies has to do with the war on terror, the drug trade, um, helping law enforcement, so it hits all those areas. So our site's unique in its size and capability for testing, but these technologies we're working on are used by our other government agencies to support uh, the world fight on terrorism and, and, and other applications. SRNL and, and our group and myself personally were involved in the design construction of the drivetrain test facility in Charleston. So that was a $48 million grant from DOE that was matched with approximately $52 million and resulted in a $100 million drivetrain test facility that is run by Clemson University. And this is to test prototypical offshore wind turbines. These would be of the size that would have blades of a football field long, if you can imagine. So massive, high-powered. That facility is capable of testing up to 15 million watts of simulated wind power. The Secretary of Energy has talked about the grid modernization effort. The next five years are critical for the country. And SRNL's got a key role to play in that. Us and our Clemson partners came up with the concept of building a high megawatt grid testing laboratory because we had all this infrastructure. And as a result, we built a essentially an arbitrary three-phase power amplifier system that can duplicate any grid event essentially in the, in the world and that facility was built with some DOE funds as well as utility involvement. And that is a key facility that the country needs as part of this grid modernization. I think the things I look back that probably were the most difficult to achieve, helping probably start up some of the facilities in the tritium facility, I knew those were extremely challenging and key to the country. Non-nuclear reconfiguration, because of how we had absorbed an entire mission that was done at Mountain Laboratories with our existing footprint and staff and how successful that's turned out to be. I always think back to when we first briefed upper management that part of the project is we were gonna to have to take tritium reservoirs and we were gonna to have to do shake, rattle, and roll. We were gonna shock them, we we're gonna vibrate them, we we're gonna spin them in a centrifuge. And I remember management at the time telling me I was crazy. No ways, will. well, we do that today. So uh, we took something that's very complex and potentially dangerous, and we do it in a safe method every day. So that's probably my, my top accomplishment. This drive to, to do the right thing and make an impact and be successful. There's a lot of challenges every day to get the job done, but you know, once you get to experience that success and see something delivered, that's what drives you every day. Recognizing that every day sometimes there's going to be hurdles, you got to you got to overcome those, but it's worth it at the end because we got great customers and, and great folks to work with. So I think that's that's makes the job easier.